I really can't imagine doing my art without math. It's almost like, it's just, it's unimaginable. My name is Barton Rubenstein, and I am a sculptor and public artist. The type of sculptures that I make are typically metal, stainless steel or bronze. I've been doing it full time for 21 years. Obviously, math spans across many subjects. I actually decided to be a scientist first. I was at Haverford College and studied physics. I went on to do my advanced degrees at the Weizmann Institute, and there I was a neuroscientist. When I was doing science, math was the main language from which I was exploring different parts of the brain, modeling the brain. When I arrived into the world of art, it naturally just sort of pervasive throughout. So it was a combination of using actual math and also using my mathematical intuitions that I had learned as a scientist. When I design a sculpture, some of the sculptures are simple and they are quite easy to execute. Others are more complex and a lot of problem solving involved. So typically I like to draw with a pen or the pencil and I draw line drawings. And then once I have a, a drawing, I will either use CAD to put it up in three dimensions because not only can you design complicated shapes, but with just the push of the button, it will tell you what exactly the square area of that shape is. Or I'll make a model. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of models that I make out of either silver colored poster paper or I'll work directly with stainless steel. Once I have a model, and I'll share it with the client because typically the client likes to see the three dimensions and put their fingers on the shapes. That's when I'll begin fabrication if they like it. And then I'm working in the world of metal. You know, I weld, so I'm in behind the mask looking at liquid metal, welding sheets of metal together. There's a whole world. After I make the sculpture, I also have to think about the logistics of moving it from Rubenstein Studios to the site. It's pretty simple. You basically just put the sculpture in a truck, you drive it over there, and you need to have manual labor carry it to the site. Now once it's on the bolts, I'll typically have a, a nut underneath the base plate and above the base plate. That way I can level the piece precisely, which is extremely important, because if it's not level, if the pole going up through the sculpture is not perfectly vertical, then the piece will list to one side and it won't act, activate properly in the wind. When I look back on my career and my life as an artist, I, you know, I wonder to myself about mathematics and whether or not was it necessary to do math and, because now I'm an artist. And the answer is, is a resounding 100%. It's been such an important part of how I have defined myself, how I solve problems, not only with sculpture, but just with stuff around the house, solving problems. So mathematics, and science in general have been a really important part of my success.